morning, this is Lindsay with Club Pilates, Elmhurst, Oak Park, and Westmont. Um, we're going to be continuing our teaser series today with neck pull and earthquake abdominals. I have like a couch pillow that I'm going to be using to support my low back when we get to those earthquake abdominals. Um, you don't need it right away, but you do want something to kind of wedge in your low back. So if you do have a ball, if you have a pillow, if you have a towel, something like that, that'll totally work. We're going to start with the moves that we started yesterday. Uh, roll up, roll down, um, some breathing first. Roll up, roll down, and bow and arrow. So let's go on ahead and scoot ourselves to one end of our mat with our legs nice and long. Taking our hands towards our ribs here, let's start with that breathing. We're going to inhale and fill our hands up. Uh, inhale, fill our hands up, and exhale. Connecting the core. You can do this laying down as well. Inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, pull that belly down and in. Two more. Last one. Wonderful. I'm going to sit up super tall. My legs are nice and long. My hands are out in front of me. Inhale through the nose. And as I exhale through the mouth, I'm going to start to roll down. So here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Rolling down one vertebra at a time. Hands come up over the chest. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Keeping those heels down, keep that scoop, and you can round forward, take a nice stretch, restack, rebuild, tuck your pelvis, and roll it down. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Roll up, 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 up. Roll it forward. Restack. Rebuild. Now we're going to go into that bow and arrow. So I'm going to bend my knees so that my feet can go flat on the mat. Wonderful. Hands are out in front of your chest. You're going to tuck your pelvis and start to roll halfway back. Find a spot that you can hold. Find that balance. And I'm going to draw one elbow back. And my eyes are going to come back to that elbow. See how that opposite hand is reaching away. Bring it forward. <sighs> Rotating through the waist, not through the pelvis. <sighs> and we have one more on each side. <sighs> Bring it forward. Tuck your chin to chest. Roll. And you can do a little chest lift here. Feels good. I'm going to take my legs nice and long. And we're going to go into neck pull. Now, um, contrary to the name, you're not actually pulling the neck. You're lengthening through the spine, which is going to help us to cue that upper body for full teaser when we get there. So I'm going to take my fingers and lace them together, bring them right behind the head. Now I'm going to keep my feet down with my toes pointing back towards me as best I can. Now right away I want to lengthen through the spine, lift the ribs off of the hip bones, and I'm going to start to hinge back. And as I hinge back, keeping my heels down, I'm going to start to feel a little bit of a rumble, a little bit of a shake. Squeeze your butt, exhale, pull it up. Now as you lengthen back, reach through the crown of the head like someone's pulling my ponytail, back, 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 exhale, pull it in. Now if you're feeling your hip flexors coming into this, you're going too far back. So you want to connect those ribs. Use that inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one, come all the way up. Go ahead and roll over, take that nice stretch. Now I'm gonna bring my pillow into the mix and I'm gonna wedge that underneath my seat. Just kind of sitting forward, I'm not sitting on it, I'm just kind of wedged it like a little bunny tail. Now I'm gonna bend my knees and especially if this is in your hip flexors already, you definitely want to bend your knees. Have your shoulders down your back. Now again, I'm going to take my hands back behind my head. This uh, I'll show you a different modification in a second. Hands come behind the head to support the neck. Lift. And I want you to lower back. And as you lower back, keeping those feet flat, you should find, ooh, mine's right there, where my body starts to shake. Exhale and lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale. Lift out of it. 
What's going on with my body? That's called muscle recruitment, meaning my abs are sending a mayday signal to the rest of my body. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Excellent. Now you can bring your arms along, creating kind of a longer lever exercise, challenging those abdominals. So this is what that looks like. Hands out in front, and again, like someone's pulling me from that neck, pulling me from my ponytail, I'm gonna hinge back. And feel that earthquake shake about right there. Yep, and lift. Sink that belly down as if a cold hand was going to come and grab you by the belly. <sighs> lift out of those shoulders, out of those hips. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> hold on that last one. As I hold, I'm going to bring my hands behind my head. It's in my hip flexor, so I need to take a second. Connect those ribs together, sink back and hold. I'm looking up more towards the ceiling and pull that chest up, 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 up. Here's three, two, and one. Round that spine and take that stretch forward. Roll all the way up, wonderful. So that was our earthquake abdominals and our neck pull series. So we'll continue tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what we're doing just yet, but we don't need any materials, just a mat. Um, today we needed a mat and a pillow. So if you guys are enjoying those live classes, please let us know. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, moves you'd like to see. This week I had a request for um, how do I get into teaser? How do I start working on that? Well, that's what we're working on now. So please, we definitely listen to those uh, suggestions or um, things you'd like to see, and we try and build something off of that. You guys have a great day. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.